Hey, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support. Today I want to show you how to use the additional heat conductive rubber pad when doing water bottles, particularly aluminum water bottles, uh, some other products like piggy banks. Um, there might be some additional products, but to explain why we use an additional heat conductive rubber pad would be smaller diameter, meaning an OD. The OD difference would be the standard mug, 10 ounce mug, which is our, our 11 ounce mug which is larger on the OD versus the smaller OD on the uh, aluminum water bottles. So you want to make sure that you know why you're using it. The basic uh, heat conductive rubber pad that your account manager will provide for you upon buying these aluminum pads would be an additional 1 8 inch in thickness. So the way we go about it, I'll demonstrate here in a second on how to put it into the press on your DK3 George Knight press and uh, the time, temperature, pressure, and all the requirements for doing the water bottles. So uh, we'll get started on that. What we want to do is to place the additional heat conductive rubber pad uh, into the press and uh, we're just going to slide it in and as best we can make sure that if your press is on that uh, you might have some gloves or something like that for safety. Uh, this is probably better done without the uh, press being on, so make sure you get it in there and fit it up against the heating element inside there. It's gonna, it might kind of flop over, but eventually it'll settle in there be fine. So center it in there as best you can. Keep in mind you do want to cover the element area, which is the little C-clamp here. Make sure you cover that whole area, and then um, we're going to disassemble the water bottle and make sure your image is placed on there and using the protective paper I make my protective paper long enough so that I can kind of pinch it like like so and then I can just kind of slide it in this way and uh, my pressure is already adjusted if you have any questions on how to use the uh, George Knight press make sure you watch uh, my other video on using the George Knight press, particularly the, uh, the mug press. So I've already adjusted my pressure and now I'm ready to clamp it. Four minutes, 400 degrees, medium to heavy pressure. We have a finished product here. Just to let you know by adding the heat conductive rubber pad, we're able to do a variety of different mugs, water bottles, piggy banks, just by adding the pad to the DK3 mug press here at Condi. Let us know if there's any additional help that we can provide. Get with your account manager if you have any questions about when to get the heat conductive rubber pad. Again, my name is Vicki. I'm with Condi Systems Tech Support. Thank you so much for your time.